Namaskar, welcome to our program. Our guest today is a world-renowned orthopedic surgeon who has many firsts to his credit. He is also a person of many facets and a master of most of them. We are delighted to have on our program today, Dr. Yash Gulati. Doctor, welcome to the program. डॉक्टर साहब ऑर्थोपीडिक्स की जब बात होती है तो नॉर्मली लोग घुटनों से या पीठ से जोड़ते हैं वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट कम अंडर अंडर योर पर व्यू स्टार्ट विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑर्थोपीडिक्स ऑर्थो मीन्स पीडिक्स मीन्स चाइल्ड एंड ऑर्थो मीन्स टू स्टेटन इट टू स्टेटन अ क्रिकेट चाइल्ड दैट्स हाउ दिस टर्म केम अच्छा सो बट ऑफकोर्स दैन विद टाइम इट इवॉल्व ऑब्वियसली फ्रैक्चर्स then wear and tear changes in different joints wear and tear changes in spine disc and then now as time went by as longevity increased joints started getting degenerated and then sports medicine sports injuries with keyhole surgery for sports injuries for example knee shoulder arthroscopic surgeries and now very very fine uh, navigation based joint replacement for example we now we use navigation the same technology that is used in smartphones or landing of the aeroplanes mm -hmm. that is used for these kind of surgery so it has really evolved over the time so starting from any joint in the body any muscle in the body any bone mm -hmm. you know famously as they say in different movies ki there are 206 bones so all those bones <laughs> all the muscles so it's a wide रेंज ऑफ थिंग्स विच कम अंडर ऑर्थोपेडिक्स आप लोग जब इन हड्डियों को जोड़ते हैं तो क्या क्योंकि हर हड्डी की शेप अलग है उसकी पोजिशन अलग है तो इट्स लाइक अ स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ एवरी बोन इज इंट इट ऑल द बोन्स आर डिफरेंट यू सी दिंग इज द ज्वाइनिंग इज डन बाई नेचर राइट वी कैन ओनली ब्रिंग द ब्रोकन पार्ट टूगेदर वी पुट दम टूगेदर इन दैन नेचर हैज टू ज्वाइन इट it's like putting some support when you put a lentil for the for example a roof so you support it with all those supports from below so our job is to provide those right. the rest of the material nature provides and joins them right like jaise cement hota hai wo yeah, apne aap hi sukhta hai exactly. usko sukhaya exactly. nahi ja sakta exactly exactly it has to take its own time uh you you've been in orthopedics now for almost 30 years yes In these last thirty years, you know changes where you talked about smartphones and all. You know there there have been dramatic changes in uh, um, in technology. Dramatic. How have they affected um, your field? I mean, it's amazing how much change has happened. As a matter of fact, let me tell you that what we used to do thirty years ago, we almost don't do that now. Really. It's very little of that. you know like for example if somebody had a broken bone and we would make our own plaster with that powder with our own hands and then wrap that heavy plaster mm. now plasters are used very uh, seldom right and those chune wala plaster is the totally out of the yeah. window mm. now you have those uh, sophisticated fiber glass thing whenever it is required and now the fixation as fixation of fracture is so good and so precise that most of the difficult situations in fractures are now fixed mm -hmm. and you don't even need a plaster so such a big change and now we would do almost all surgeries under uh, what is known as image intensifier control you see exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. and similarly for example when we are doing spine surgery we have very fine tools i you can really say that when we started our career we were like really like a blacksmith and mm -hmm. now we are like a you know uh, watch mender our uh, instruments are so fine so precise and some of them are computerized as i told you for example when i do a knee replacement now i'm doing it with the what is known as a gyroscope uh, mm -hmm. based pinless navigation in you, which that's a first and you have yeah, uh, introduced I mean, it in yes, the country in, in, at least in this part of the country i have introduced and i think i've done more than anybody else in this country with this technology right. so you know this so precise I mean if you can trust an aeroplane with 400 passengers inside to land with this technology or with 
smartphones which are in every household to be to be working precisely each time as you know mm. it they work correctly each time for positioning and all those things so if the same technology you can use for your operation you can feel very confident so mm. such a sea change has happened with time it's it's an amazing time to it's be amazing. a surgeon isn't i often it? say that our generation has seen huge changes in almost all the fields mm. uh, you remember uh, for example say telephone i remember when i was in england in 1982 i had to wait for a week those 50p coins to ring my home you know because you don't have money and it was so difficult and now you are walking on the street uh, my daughter is in new york and you put on the face time and we are looking at each yeah, other and talking yeah. while walking but look at the change of technology in every field look at the planes look at the trains look at the uh, even food technology water technology health things have really really changed you know you you mentioned that things have changed they have but th they are also uh, the reason why there is degeneration in the body isn't it because we are now so technology dependent uh, lifestyle mein bahut se changes aa gaye hain jiski wajah se bhi um, kai aisi degenerative sure, sure, diseases sure. hain I mean, jo humko that is the side effect of it because as i often say that god made our body to be in jungles to hunt for food to be right. walking to be running looking for our food now what do we have we get up in the morning we get into the car in air conditioned car sit in the office the whole day come back eat sit in front of tv and lie down sitting and then your wife tells you get up get into the bed <laughs> so there is no activity right. how many people are doing sports how many people are doing lifestyle uh, to manage your body very few so that has brought such bad effects on the body you know people are having pains and people are having you know, obesity well don't look at me but i am a little <laughs> bit but you know that's not the reason my case but obesity and all those problems related to that blood pressure diabetes all due to lack of activity if you are active most of this problem would either not be there or would be much less intense so all this low activity is causing so much of trouble now which uh, which are the kind of problems you are having because of uh less activity well oh, oh, back pain mm. you know i'll give you a statistical figure a laborer working on the road side has less incidence of back pain than a person working in office is so that that is that is that is statistically true so that answers the question so activity is very important joint pains back pain all these aches and things if one is active doing exercise sports incidence is much less right then all the cardiac related ailments if you are active doing exercises doing yoga the incidence is low so there is no question about it that uh, lack of activity is leading to many problems in orthopedics and in other fields so agar ye mana jaye ki cities mein bone or joint se related problems zyada hain waise bhi health problems zyada hain in comparison to villages would that be true because people are more active in rural areas yes and no dekhiye uh, villages mein statistically स्टेटिस्टिकली आप ठीक कह रही हैं क्योंकि विलेजेस में अभी भी लोग भोगता भाग दौड़ करते हैं खेलने का अभी भी काफ़ी है और रोज़मर्रा की चीज़ों के लिए भी दौड़ते भागते काफ़ी ही हैं रिमोट विलेज में जो शहरों के आसपास विलेज हैं उसमें तो वही अर्बनाइजेशन काफ़ी हो गई है लेकिन ये एक सच है क्योंकि अर्बनाइजेशन के ये नुकसान तो खैर है ही हैं इसके अंदर कोई शक वाली बात है नहीं तो आपने अभी बात की नी रिप्लेसमेंट की या बाकी जो जॉइंट्स हैं कौन कौन से जॉइंट्स हैं जो रिप्लेस किए जा सकते हैं देखिए सारे मेजर जोड़ बदले जा सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल देख नी जोड़ नी का जो जोड़ है वो सबसे ज़्यादा कॉमनली बदला जाता है फिर जो खुला या हिप का जोड़ है उसको बदला जा सकता है या हाथ के छोटे जोड़ रिस्ट एल्बो शोल्डर बदले जा सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेकिन कॉमनेस्ट जो है वो नी रिप्लेसमेंट है और हिप रिप्लेसमेंट है नाउ यू नो देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल यहाँ मेडिकल एथिक्स की भी बात आ जाती है कि कई बार होता है कि बहुत यंग लोग हैं उनको भी नी रिप्लेसमेंट कह देते हैं समटाइम्स यू वंडर वेदर इट इज़ नेसेसरी डू यू थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ सर्जरीज दैट इन फैक्ट देर आर डॉक्टर्स हु कोटेड दैट अबाउट थर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ नी रिप्लेसमेंट्स आर अननेसेसरी इज दैट ट्रू देखिए अगेन आंसर इज येस एन नो मैं ये रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि uh, अभी भी मेडिकल प्रोफेशन हमारा is much more ethical than any other profession i can think of in this country mm -hmm. there are some black sheep there are problem because after all you are living in a society you come from the same society you come from the same background as other people are in other field unke bacche bhi to doctor bante to cut the long story short 
यस सम एथिकल अनएथिकल थिंग्स मे बी हैपनिंग बट मेरी अपनी सोच और जो मैं अपने जूनियर्स को या अपने कॉलीग्स को कहता हूँ कि डोंट रन आफ्टर मनी यू डू गुड वर्क द मनी विल फॉलो यू नो दिस इज वॉट इट इज इफ यू डू गुड वर्क एक आपकी कॉन्शियस भी क्लियर है एंड यू विल बी अर्निंग इनफ बिकॉज बहुत ज़्यादा कमा के भी क्या करना है क्योंकि वो कबीर ने भी जैसा कहा था कि सो कबीर सो धन साँचिए जो आगे को होए शीश उठाए गाठड़ी जात ना देखा कोई तो क्या करना है उसको सो so, अगर आप अच्छा काम करते हैं अच्छी आपकी सेटिस्फेक्शन है आप अपना अच्छा कमाते खाते हैं तो वो ठीक है और एथिकल काम करिए और क्यों किसी को वो करना दूसरी बात ये है कि जहाँ तक यंग पेशेंट में रिप्लेसमेंट का सवाल है ज़्यादातर हम रिप्लेसमेंट एडवाइस करते हैं साठ साल की उम्र के बाद लेकिन आप ये मान लीजिए कि किसी को रोमेटॉड आर्थराइटिस हो गया बहुत सीवियर है वो व्यक्ति 35-40 साल का है या 25 साल का है 30 साल का है लेकिन वो चल ही नहीं सकते हैं जोड़ इतने खराब डिस्ट्रॉय हो गए तो क्या हम 25 साल वेट करें उसके तो ऐसे सरकमस्टांसिस में क्योंकि अब टेक्नोलॉजी इतनी अच्छी हो गई है ज्वाइंट रिप्लेसमेंट की नाउ वी कैन ऑफर इट टू यंगर पीपल यू सी बट वन हैज टू बी वेरी केयरफुल वेरी जुडिशियस भाई मेरा भाई मेरी माँ मेरी बहन होती तो क्या मैं उनके लिए ये करता अगर आपके मन में ये जवाब आता है कि हाँ तो ज़रूर करिए इन फैक्ट आई कैन क्लेम एंड आई नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट आई हैव डन हिप रिप्लेसमेंट इन द यंगेस्ट पेशेंट इन आवर कंट्री एंड पेशेंट वाज ओनली थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड शी वॉज अ गर्ल फ्रॉम नाइजीरिया उसको वो था सिकल सेल डिजीज उसके हिप सारे डिस्ट्रॉय थे शी वॉज क्रिपल्ड and we had long discussion with parents we had long discussion with the family even in the hospital ethical committee ki bhai kare ke na kare so the thing was ya to hum us jodon ko fuse kar dete parents said no but so we did it and in the literature also in very severe rheumatoid arthritis for example juvenile rheumatoid arthritis it is mentioned yeah. that people have done it but to cut the long story short one has to be ethical yeah. what you do you in your own mind should be sure that you're not doing it just because you want to earn money yeah. you're doing it because you want to help somebody mm. and you are going to make somebody better mm. and it is ethically correct then it is okay but i think somewhere you said that uh, a knee replacement or any replacement surgery should be earned absolutely because we have enough patients who are hypochondriac zara si dard hui to kaha ji ha aisa nahi hai dekho exactly you have said the exact word which i use all the time mm. that your joint replacement surgery the patient must earn mm. i always tell apne patient ko apne mareez ko dekho bhai aisa hai agar aapka jod ye kharab hai isko operation karna hai ya nahi karna ye decision 50% aapka hai 50% mera hai main aapko ye keh sakta hu ki agar hum jod badlenge to aapke dard chali jayegi lekin aapko dard kitni hai aap kitna chal sakte hain कितनी आपको इसके कारण परेशानी हो रही है ये आपको है क्योंकि ऑपरेशन केवल और केवल और केवल दर्द के लिए ना तो वो एक्सरे के लिए एक्सरे में क्या दिख रहा है ना वो एमआरआई में क्या दिख रहा है उसके लिए केवल कितनी ज्यादा दर्द है तो हालांकि मैं मेरी डॉक्टर एज ए डॉक्टर भी मेरी ड्यूटी है मैं असेस करता हूँ कि आपको कितनी पेन हो रही है लेकिन आप भी मेरे को बताओ कि क्या आपको लगता है कि आपको कितने ऑपरेशन की जरूरत है तो कई पेशेंट कहते हैं नहीं डॉक्टर मेरा अभी काम चल रहा है मुझे ऑपरेशन नहीं चाहिए फाइन सो patient actually should be requesting me ki doctor my pain is so much not do something that is a good and ek badi mazedar baat ye hai ki jit main ye kehta hu ki itni badi kisi ki problem thi aapne operation karke usko itna kar diya dekho 100% to koi bhi kuch kabhi kuch nahi hota aapne itni badi problem ko itna kar diya aapko itna aashirwad milta hai aap itne khush karte hain aapke patient aapko pata nahi kya kya duaein dete hain agar aapki problem itni thi और आपने इतनी कर दी तो कभी पेशेंट खुश नहीं होंगे तो व्हाई यू वांट टू बी ऑन द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ द पेशेंट आई ऑलवेज से भाई बी एक एक फैक्ट है एक्चुअली नोबडी वांट्स एन ऑपरेशन ये सच है कोई खुशी से थोड़ा ऑपरेशन कराता है कोई पेशेंट ये थोड़ा कहता है बड़ा मजा आ रहा है जी मेरा ऑपरेशन कर दो नहीं वो तभी कराएंगे जब तकलीफ बहुत ज्यादा है तो वाई वन शुड बी ऑन द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ द पेशेंट तभी करो जब उनको बहुत ज्यादा तकलीफ है वो भी खुश मैं भी खुश तो काम की कमी थोड़ा है तो व्हाई डू ऑन एथिकल थिंग्स जरूरत ही नहीं है पर आपके आसपास जब होती हैं ऐसी बातें लेट्स फेस इट तो हमारे देश में ऐसी कई अनएथिकल बातें होती हैं डज इट हर्ट यू इट हर्ट्स मी बट लेट मी अगेन टेल यू द इंसिडेंस इज वेरी लो नाउ यू सी नाउ विद ऑल दीज कवरेज एंड ऑल दैट यू नो समाइम ब्लोन आउट ऑफ प्रपोर्शन मैं अभी भी आज भी 
फुल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के साथ कह सकता हूं कि आज भी हमारे देश में मेडिकल प्रोफेशन लार्ज एक्सटेंट तक एथिकल है आपका अपना बैकग्राउंड इट वॉज अ मिडिल क्लास बैकग्राउंड आपके आपके फादर एम ई एस में थे नॉट अ डॉक्टर नो तो मेरी फैमिली में मेरे से पहले कोई डॉक्टर नहीं था यू द फर्स्ट डॉक्टर इन योर फैमिली सो वॉट ड्रोव यू टू बिकमिंग भाई हमारे घर में एक मेरे फादर यूज टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ यूज टू वर्क फॉर पीपल विदाउट चार्जिंग मनी अच्छा वो उनकी ही हैड ए गिफ्ट ऑफ ही कुड राइट वेल अच्छा सो कई लोगों के कुछ केसेस हो जाते थे कुछ हो जाते थे दे वुड कम एंड माय फादर वुड राइट अपील्स फॉर देम ओके एंड नेवर चार्ज एनी मनी आई रिमेंबर दैट सो वन डॉक्टर सरकार यूज टू कम इन आर हाउस वेन वी वर वेरी स्मॉल एंड एक डॉक्टर हमारे घर आता था तो ये बहुत बड़ी बात थी हम लोग तो मतलब हम लोग मैं ना उनका स्टेटस को पढ़ा होता था मैं चोरी चोरी उसको छूता था एंड आई नेवर मेरे को लगता था मैंने किसी का ये छू लिया तो वो बुरा ना मान जाए जब उनका मुंह उधर कहीं वो जाते थे मैं छू के उसको करता था कि ये मेरे को भी करना है तो दैट्स वॉट ड्रो मी एंड देन माई मदर हु वॉज ए स्कूल टीचर शी वॉज वेरी कन्विंस कि हमारा जो क्या बोले इसको इस इस लेवल से ऊपर उठने का सिर्फ हमारे पास एक ही तरीका है कि एजुकेशन अच्छा कि अगर हम एजुकेशन नहीं करेंगे तो हम इसी लेवल पे रहेंगे हमेशा तो शी वॉज एब्सोल्युटली श्योर कि मुझे पढ़ना है एंड शी यूज टू एनकरेज कि पढ़ना है पढ़ना है तो वो दिमाग में घुस गई बात कि ये तो करना ही है एंड देन सी देन गॉड एंड नेचर हैज टू हेल्प यू पढ़ाई में आप अच्छे थे हाँ पढ़ाई में तो अच्छे थे पर आप बनना क्या खुद क्या बनना चाहते थे मैं लॉयर बनना चाहता था अच्छा मैं मैंने स्टैम्प बनाई हुई थी बचपन में यश गुलाटी एल एल बी मैं लगा था था हर टाइम लेकिन वो तो किस्मत को यही मंजूर था मैं किस्मत को ये मंजूर था एंड इट्स वंडरफुल फॉर ऑल द पेशेंस दैट यू केम इन दिस लाइन बट दैट वाज वेरी स्मॉल व्हेन आई वाज वेरी यंग बट आफ्टर दैट देन ऑफ कोर्स एंड आई न्यू दैट दिस इज व्हाट इट वाज योर लाइफ टुक अ डिफरेंट कोर्स एंड द अदर थिंग दैट यू इनहेरिटेड और वाज इंस्पायर्ड बाय योर फादर वाज दिस लव फॉर पोएट्री यस very much see my father migrated from what is now pakistan mm. so those days they, they studied in urdu mm. so he didn't know hindi so whenever we did something or something so he would come out with two lines mm. so i picked up that from him then i also got interested then i learned how to read and write urdu so, you know in fact then i came very close to many poets so i was very for example uh, pakistan's poet katil shafai saab acha acha he used to come to my home i had actually done surgery on him acha and uh, many others and for example uh, ashok chakradhar ji apne jo well known india ke i think one of the best poets he became a very dear friend because of my love for poetry so all these things you know and then um, i'm very much interested in that and i'm interested in shero shayari and also dramatics dramatics i in fact i was the cultural secretary of my college when i was in molana azad medical college yeah. so i got the best comedian prize <laughs> best comedian <laughs> normally normally kaha jata hai agar bachcha padh likh gaya to doctor banega nahi to actor banega to aap to padh likh gaye and you have reached great heights and yet this love for acting continues ha ni acting to ab nahi kar pate hain because itna time nahi milta sher o shayari yes aur abhi jaise kabhi kabhi main kuch programs anchor kar deta hu यू नो जैसे कोई किसी के म्यूजिक प्रोग्राम है सो बीच में कभी कभी ऐसे मतलब बीच में चलता है आई एंजॉय दैट इट्स वेरी नाइस सो दैट दैट दैट्स अ दैट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ दैट कीप्स यू रिलैक्स्ड व्हेन यू आर या इट्स वेरी गुड बिकॉज़ एक और मजेदार बात ये है कि अगर आपको ये शेर शायरी आती है या थोड़ी बहुत पोएट्री आती है तो कोई सिचुएशन आती है तो आप दो लाइन बोल दो यू कैन एक्सप्रेस एवरीथिंग यू नो so this is this is a great art which i uh, learned from my father jab aap apne operation theater mein hote hain to us waqt bhi kuch shayari yaad hoti hai us samay dekhiye badi mazedar baat hai aap kabhi bhi koi kaam agar karte hain man laga ke to main isko ishwar ki pooja ke barabar manta hu bilkul koi bhi kaam aap agar aap tv ki anchoring kar rahe hain अगर आप इसमें पूरी तरह से तल्लीन हो गए तो आप दुनिया में क्या हो रहा है आसपास इस समय आपको कुछ मालूम नहीं है सिमिलरली जब आप ऑपरेशन कर रहे होते हैं तो फॉर एग्जांपल आई ऑलवेज ऑपरेट विद म्यूजिक इन द बैकग्राउंड ओके तो जब मैं ऑपरेशन शुरू करता हूं तो मुझे मालूम है कि क्या म्यूजिक बज रहा है एंड आफ्टर फाइव मिनट स्टिल द ऑपरेशन इज ओवर आई हैव नो आइडिया वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन सो इट इज आई रियली ट्रीटेड लाइक यू बिकम वन विद गॉड वेन यू आर डूइंग दैट 
in any profession, not just this. So that's the most wonderful experience because at, for that particular time, you have forgotten the whole world, you have forgotten all the worries, all other happinesses and you are just one with something. And I think becoming one with something is godliness. Absolutely. It's, it's a wonderful well, experience. Do you also, um, well, certain doctors do, certain don't. You know, this connect uh, connection with God, this connectivity with God as, uh, um, you know, that He is ultimately the healer and you're just the instrument. Kya aapko kabhi aise Bilkul, lagta ye hai? Sach baat hai. Iske upar wo mere ek teacher the, unhone mujhe ek baat batai thi ki mana ke dawa achhi hai aur tabib bhi achha hai. Tabib hota hai doctor aur vaid aur jo. Mana ke dawa achhi hai और तबीब भी अच्छा है मगर अच्छा वही होगा जिसका नसीब अच्छा है ये एक सच बात है कि ये नेचर ने डिसाइड किया है यू आर ओनली एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो बहुत अपने दिमाग में ये नहीं चढ़ना चाहिए कि मैंने इसको ये ठीक कर दिया मैंने ये कर दिया मैंने वो कर दिया यू आर ओनली एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच समथिंग विच हैव टू हैपन एंड ये नेचर की बड़ी मेहरबानी है या गॉड की बड़ी मेहरबानी है कि उसने किसी का भला आपके हाथ से करा दिया बहुत सुंदर बात कही आपने बहुत सुंदर कही आप जब ये सर्जरीज करते हैं क्योंकि खास तौर पे जैसे स्पाइन सर्जरी है यू यू डू द मिनिमल मिनिमली इन्वेसिव सर्जरी दैट फॉर एग्जांपल स्लिप डिस्क सर्जरी यू डू थ्रू अबाउट वन इंच इंसिजन राइट एंड यू मेक द पेशेंट स्टैंड एंड वॉक द नेक्स्ट डे एंड पेशेंट कैन गो होम द नेक्स्ट इवनिंग दैट इज क्वाइट अ दिस इज नॉट दीस आर द इनोवेशंस व्हिच हैव हैपेंड ओवर टाइम ये सर्जरी आज से 25 30 साल पहले पेशेंट को आप एक हफ्ता उठने नहीं देते थे बेड से जी सी और उसमें भी रिस्क रहता था कोई नर्व दब गई कोई कुछ हो जाए पर हां जी 1% रिस्क होता है ऐसा नहीं है कुछ दिस नथिंग परफेक्ट 1% रिस्क होता है लेकिन पहले से बहुत कम पहले से मॉर्बिडिटी इसको हम कहते हैं कि साइड इफेक्ट और उसकी उसके बाद के जो खराब इफेक्ट वो पहले से बहुत कम हो गए सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू हैव चेंज्ड इन टाइम so uh, but the spiritual part of you uh, continues so when uh, w- you know when you perform these very very fine surgeries aapke liye kaun sa ek turning point raha hai kisi ek patient ke sath ya koi aapko na main ek incident sunata hu ki nature aur god mein aap kaise vishwas nahi karoge aap chahe usko god keh lo bhagwan keh lo allah keh lo vai guru keh lo jesus christ jo marzi keh lo ek nature super power jo marzi keh lo kuch to hai ek mere patient the उनका यहाँ पे अपर लेवल स्पाइन पे टीबी हुआ उसके पैरों में ताकत बिल्कुल कम हो गई तो उनका मैंने ऑपरेशन किया चेस्ट खोल के ऑपरेशन के बाद पैरों की ताकत जीरो हो गई अच्छा पहले अगर थोड़ी थी वो भी चली गई तो मैं बहुत अपसेट हुआ मैं मतलब यू कैन इमेजिन लेकिन वो इतनी पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग फैमिली इतने अच्छे और वो कहते हैं डॉक्टर साहब यू हैव डन अ गुड जॉब आप देखना ये बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाएगा दैट्स क्वाइट अमेजिंग नॉर्मली पेशेंट्स तो उल्टा गुस्सा करते हैं नहीं तो कोई लड़ रहा है कोई कुछ नहीं ये बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाएगा और कहते हैं कि हम हम अपने ना उनके पास गए थे स्वामी जी के पास उन्होंने बोला है कि ये आप बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाएगा और जिस डॉक्टर ने इनका ऑपरेशन किया ना उनका बहुत बड़ा नाम होगा अच्छा ये मैं आज से 15 साल पहले की बात कर रहा हूं अरे मैंने कहा पता नहीं न्यूज़पेपर में छुपाएंगे कि ये प्रॉब्लम हुई है <laughs> क्या बहुत बड़ा नाम हो जाएगा भाई तो लेकिन फिर एनी anyway, वे पेशेंट डिस्चार्ज हो गए फिर मेरे फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट उनके यहाँ जाते वाते रहते थे तो एक दिन वो कहते हैं कि फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट मुझे कहता है सर मैं उनको खड़ा कर दूँ अच्छा आई यू क्रेजी वट आर यू टॉकिंग सर उनकी ताकत आ गई है खड़ा कर दूँ मैंने उनको एनी anyway, बुलाया थोड़ी बहुत ताकत आ गई थी फिर करते रहे फिजियो फिजियोथेरेपी करते रहे फिर चार पांच महीने के बाद ए स्मार्ट यंग मैन विद अ ब्रीफ केस कम्स वॉकिंग इनटू माय ऑफिस मैंने कहा हाँ जी सर आपने मुझे पहचाना नहीं मैंने कहा नहीं बिकॉज लुकिंग वेरी डिफरेंट सर मैं सो एंड सो हूँ मैं अभी इंग्लैंड से आया हूँ पहले मैं आपको हेलो बोलना चाहता था कि मैं वही हूँ जिसकी आपने ऑपरेशन किया था वो वाला ही वेंट टू इंग्लैंड कैरिंग इज ओन बैग अब मुझे बताओ कि आप कैसे नेचर में विश्वास नहीं करोगे हाँ. है ना कुछ कुछ तो नेचर है तो देखो नेचर में भगवान में स्पिरिचुअलिज्म में आपको मानना ही पड़ेगा और मैं तो सवेरे रोज ईश्वर से यही प्रार्थना करता हूं कि मेरे पेशेंट को ठीक कर दो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
डॉक्टर साहब जहाँ एक तरफ ये आपकी प्रार्थना हमेशा रहती है कि आपके पेशेंट्स ठीक हो जाएं, हाउ डू यू हैंडल फेलियर बिकॉज दैट इज ऑल्सो इनएिटेबल इट है बट देन आई एम वेरी अपसेट इफ दर इज ए फेलियर मतलब मेरा बच मेरा ऐसा होता था अब मेरे बच्चे ग्रो हो रहे थे तो दे वुड आस्क माई वाइफ कि डैडी के पेशेंट का बुखार ठीक है <laughs> तो वो बोले कि हाँ तो फिर ठीक है हम भी बात कर लेते हैं स्पाइन सर्जरी के बाद वो बड़ा फेमस था हमारे घर में डैडी के पेशेंट ने यूरिन पास कर लिया है <laughs> तो फिर इसका मतलब ठीक है लेस गो एंड टॉक सो सी यू हैव टू बी पैशन लेट अबाउट वॉट यू डू कुछ नसीब का भी होता है हाँ, आपको मानना पड़ेगा अब ये अनसाइंटिफिक बात है बट सच है हम तो मानते हैं हाँ सच है यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट दैट डजन मीन कि आप अपना पुरुषार्थ नहीं करो दैट डजन मीन कि भाई आपने कहा रहे यार वो अजगर करे ना चाकरी पंची करे ना काम दास मुलुका कह गए सबके दाता राम ये सोच के बैठ जाओ कि ठीक हो जाएगा यार मैंने जो कर दिया कर दिया ऐसा नहीं है वी हैव टू डू आवर लेबर वी हैव टू डू द बेस्ट दैट इज पॉसिबल वी हैव टू डू आवर परिश्रम वी हैव टू डू आवर मेहनत एंड देन वो है ना जैसे कबीर ने भी कहा है कि श्रम से सब कुछ होता है बिन श्रम हो तो कुछ ना ही कि सीधी उंगली घी जमो कपसू निकले ना ही तो प्रॉब्लम है तो वी हैव टू टैकल इट बट एट द सेम टाइम सम thing you have to leave to nature when you were studying you went abroad to study didn't you yes um you went to ireland i was in first i went to england mm -hmm. then i went to republic of ireland and of course i visited many countries for fellowships god has been very kind how is no. it that you decided not to stay back that is what most doctors would do i cannot be a second class citizen mm -hmm. ever i mean this is not my personality i it never occurred to me that i should stay i'm not saying that people who stay are second class but that time things were very different mm -hmm. now world has changed has become small but there was uh, under the ground some kind of difference I, there was an un undercurrent you were respected more if they knew that you come here to learn and uh, they were uh, definitely at that point of time they were far ahead of us in medicine now that is not the case mm. and they respected you they gave more opportunity to you if they knew that you are here to learn and not to grab jobs for their own children acha so it was actually a smart move not to be wanting to stay there because i got the best of opportunities to learn in a very quick time mm -hmm. and i was very sure that uh, i wanted to come back and when you came back to india you joined rml that's right so you went into the government i was uh, in between rml i took leave and went and then i came back and joined again so like that so that was also um, being a government doctor rather than going into the private sector what was the reason behind that no because i was in the government sector that time and uh, later on when i went abroad then i thought i'll be able to do bigger justice to the skills i have acquired if i was out At that point of time. Right. Yeah. नहीं जब आप इंडिया आए वापस तो विद विद द काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स यू हैड यू कुड हैव इजली गॉन इनटू द प्राइवेट सेक्टर देयर एंड देन. I think I've had the best of both the worlds. Okay. I had the government job experience. I headed the orthopedic unit at RML, so I had that perspective. Then I had this perspective. So in fact, uh, I was very lucky. I had both uh, both the perspectives. And what were the innovations that you brought with you into RML? See, at that point of time, there were very few people doing joint replacements. Right. Now it is very common. Mm -hmm. yeah. At that point of time, there were a handful of people who were doing joint replacement or who were doing uh, minimally invasive spine surgery. Now it is common. Mm -hmm. So those kind of expertise mm -hmm. were brought. And fortunately, now I can say that in our country, we are. at par if not better than many developed countries in the kind of work and the amount of work that is being done that was not the case then mm -hmm. it was very different i often say that we used to do things which are not written in the books and we were not doing things which were written in the books that uh, that time but now fortunately for our country things have changed now we are very good now we are getting patients from all over the world yeah. and we are doing you know for example now we are getting a huge amount of work from outside and that is earning reputation as well as uh, money to 
our country. For example, uh, only last year itself, I have operated on the wife of the President of Mozambique, the mother of the Prime Minister of Mozambique, many other uh, senior leaders, relatives from all over the world. So, mm -hmm. it is just me and so many other people have done so much more work. Huge amount of work is being done and very complicated work, you know, all these transplants, all these fractures and all these heart surgeries. It's fantastic what our country is doing. Um, in fact, that is why the uh, the medical tourism sector is doing so well as uh, exactly. I mean, um, I will just humbly like to correct this term because I tourism, <laughs> tourism because people don't come touring. I I I like to call it a medical uh, facilitation. Okay. Okay. That is a better word. That's a better I think term, a better yeah. word. I think uh, it should really be called that. Mm -hmm. but, so there are a lot of people, and you know, the good thing is that it's bringing our country a very good name abroad. Yeah, that is true. That's not only your earning uh, money and doing work, but also uh, goodwill. Mm -hmm. This is generating goodwill for other sectors also to do well there. See, if a patient who has come in pain or problem, uh, he's doing well there, mm -hmm. so he'll naturally be your ambassador there. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is, uh, this is a big thing. You, you mentioned uh, op operating upon the, the the prime ministers of Mozambique and various His other mother. dignitaries from abroad, but you've also done that here, presidents, prime ministers, yeah. um, um, you know, celebrities. You have operated upon them all. Yes, I have operated on the former prime minister of India. I treated the previous presidents of India and various other people. I operated on the former captain of Indian cricket team. I. You know, when God gives you, you take it. Is it, is, it a, <laughs> is, is it a special responsibility then? No. I often tell them, you know, this is good. You see, who suffers the most mm -hmm. in medical treatment? VIP. Because uh, there is a thing called VIP syndrome. Right. Okay. So, I always, I sit down with them and I counsel them. I said, look, the human body is the same. Right. So, Please, we are going to do the treatment exactly what a common man requires. Mm -hmm. Curtsies for you may be different. Your room may be bigger. You, some people, 10 people may say, yes, sir, no, sir. Nurses visiting you more often and, you know, all the other facilities. But please don't interfere in the treatment. But let it be the same treatment because that is what is good for you. Right. And most people understand. When it comes to your body, people understand. See, mo most of these VIPs are smart people. And once you have told them that this is good for you, they understand. And I have never had trouble with any VIP. And never. They have not tried to dictate upon no. you what you should no. be doing. Once, once you understand each other. Yeah. Once yeah. they know that, you know, whatever is being done is for my good mm -hmm. and is the, the, I better cooperate mm -hmm. for my own good. So, it's fine. And then you have to have a trust factor. Yeah. Once that is you the most trust important. each other, yeah. then it's fine. Mm -hmm. And also, for a medical professional, I think it's very important to be upright. Mm -hmm. If there is a problem, not only with the VIP, with anybody else, it's better to communicate and say this is the situation. Mm -hmm. Because as in life, most problems arise when there is lack of communication yeah. and when there is a gap in expectations. If you have not communicated the outcome right. before properly. so that factor has to be taken care of. That, of course, is the most important factor. Yeah, for right? anybody. Yeah. Anybody. You mentioned uh, operating upon uh, the former cricket captain of India. Mm. Now, um, sports medicine is also a field where you specialize in, don't you? Mm. Sports yes. injuries. Yes. No, in fact, I've been um, associated with sports for a long time. I'm, again, very thankful to God that I was given the opportunity by nature uh, that in Delhi till today, in the last 15 years, all the test matches and all the one day matches that have taken place, I was fortunate to be able to provide medical cover for all of them. So that brought me very close to people who are my heroes. You know, for example, when we were children, Bishan Bedi, Chetan Chohan, you know, we used to look at them in the TV. Now they're good friends. You know, so many such people, Madan Lalji, the test, the fast baller. So, it's wonderful, you know, to be able to do your job and yet you are with your uh, heroes. 
do you, do you ever get a feeling of being um, the entire thing being very surreal ki are ye kya ho raha hai aur ye mere sath kya ho raha hai ha ye mere ko lagta hai kai bari lagta hai ye kya ho raha hai ki bhai main hu but so if god is kind to you fine take it with open arms you know why not to sports but i tell you this huh. is also i believe in this is metaphorically speaking but this is the truth in life you know you might have read that book secrets ji one sentence in that book sums up the book that thoughts make things if you think about something it will happen so actually these are my subconscious desires which i wanted very strongly what was your subconscious desire to do this to get to the top of my profession right. to get to treat people to get good result this is my inner desire burning desire mm. so because the desire is so strong then nature helps you but this is actually true in life if you really want something badly and if you want really honestly you get it this is true this is so inspirational dr saab ki kisi bhi field mein agar aap कुछ भी करना चाहते हैं बड़ी शिद्दत से उसको चाहना चाहिए वही वो बुक में यही लिखा है कि ह्यूमन बीइंग आर अफ्रेड ऑफ थिंकिंग अहेड एंड क्रिएटिंग देयर ओन रियलिटी यू आर अफ्रेड टू इन योर ओन माइंड यू आर अफ्रेड कि दिस कैन हैपन आई आल्सो हैव लिमिटेशन आई एम आल्सो अफ्रेड कि यार ये नहीं हो सकता बट वट यू एक्चुअली डिजायर एंड एक्चुअली स्ट्रॉन्गली डिजायर दैट हेल्प दैट हैपन्स प्रॉबेबली द रीजन इज दैट Uh, you actually then work towards it yeah that is true you get so passionately yeah. involved with it you don't understand yeah. that but this is probably how nature works that nature then gives you the strength to work towards that goal is tarah aapke career mein bhi to hua hoga ki you know when you come across certain problems um related to surgeries um kya aisi koi aisa koi point tha aapne kaha ki iska to koi ilaj dhoondna hi hai you read in the books you see it and then you come out with your own little modifications at you know to usme to for example when i do knee replacement there are many steps which are not written in the books i have improved them myself this navigation technique i was talking to you about mm-hmm. gyroscope the one which is like smartphone and um, aeroplane landing in that itself you know uh, i have done some different uh, things little differently which okay. has made life very easy so that of course will happen that happens because it's a handcraft so yeah. everybody can do it a little differently every surgeon does that while well, coming back to um, sports uh, injuries this may again you you're quite a mahir uh, do you think that there has been a change in the in uh, in in that area as well huge huge change really the best change that has happened is understanding mm. how and why injuries are occurring second best change that has happened is how to prevent these injuries and of course third thing is that now minimally invasive techniques are available rehabilitation physiotherapy this has gone notches up acha hasn't it aur so, hum jab for example jab cricket ki baat karte hain to uh, jab dusra aaya to unhone kaha ki wo hand movement ka fark hai usi tarike se uh, you know when a player runs or bowls um, or bats तो उसमें जब मूवमेंट में गड़बड़ हो दैट कैन आल्सो लीड टू इंजरी देयर आर वीडियोस देयर आर टेक्निक्स एवरी स्टेप यू वांट टू सी द टीवी कवरेज दे आर एबल वो ये स्लो बॉल में उसका एक्शन ऐसा होता है और जो फास्ट वाला जो स्लोअर वन में एक्शन थोड़ा सा हाथ ऐसा हो जाता है वो सीम ऐसे हो जाती है सो वो उसका उस दिन आई वॉज वॉचिंग मुस्तफर स्लोअर वन एंड द नॉर्मल वन यू रियली कॉन्ट मेक आउट फ्रॉम दैट सो सो माइन्यूटली थिंग्स आर नाउ we we should uh, analyze on video huh. and players can be helped and similarly for injury prevention also yeah. kahan aapka pair galat land kar raha hai kahan aapki baazu galat mud rahi hai zyada mud rahi hai kahan aapki back zyada lurch kar rahi hai kahan aapka shoulder aap ball boundary se throw kar rahe ho kahan galat throw kar rahe ho so all these things can be watched and person can be guided ha to is so, correction se then jo movement theek hoti hai to injury kam hoti hai injury kam hoti hai na injury prevention to bahut important hai bahut important is this also true for daily life hum jis tarah se baithte hain ya baat karte hain ya kuch of course for example for example if you sit in the wrong chair hmm. you will have back pain for example if you are sitting in a sofa which is slouching too much you will have back pain if you are sitting in a uh, chair in which your feet are hanging a chair meant for a 6 footer or 5 footer is sitting you will have back pain 
of or, or vice versa so you have to have what is known as ergonomics your mm -hmm. uh, furniture your workplace your the way you work has to be designed to the person person cannot be designed to that right you right. see your same chair cannot be right for a 6 footer and a 5 footer same table height cannot be right same working surface cannot be height right for everybody so you have to modify that mm -hmm. to prevent uh, problems डॉक्टर साहब जब हम आ, किसी भी ऑफिस सिचुएशन में हो या घर में हो वी कॉन्ट ऑलवेज कंट्रोल द साइज ऑफ फर्नीचर लेकिन हम खुद क्या कर सकते हैं ताकि इंजरीज कम हो देखिए अगर आप रेगुलरली जिस ऑफिस में काम कर रहे हैं वहाँ तो आपको कंट्रोल करना ही पड़ेगा बिकॉज अगर आपको साल दर साल वहीं उसी चेयर में बैठना है तो यू हैव टू मॉडिफाई दैट टू योर हाइट राइट एंड सिमिलरली द डेस्क सिमिलरली योर कंप्यूटर टॉप हाउ योर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन इज लुकिंग एंड ऐसे घूम घूम के तो नहीं देख रहे हो वेर इज योर टेलीफोन आपको बार बार घूम के टेलीफोन तो नहीं आपको अटेंड करना पड़ा ये तो चीज़ें आपको कंट्रोल करनी पड़ेंगी जहाँ पे आप ओकेशनल तरीके से जा रहे हो वहाँ यू जैसे आप आपने ये पीछे क्वेश्चन रखा हुआ है ये बहुत ज़्यादा डीप है सोफा सो समथिंग लाइक दैट इफ यू सिट विदाउट दिस क्वेश्चन देन यू विल बी स्पॉलिंग योर पोस्चर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल लिटल थिंग्स कैन बी डन टू एंड मेक श्योर वेन यू आर सिटिंग बोथ द फीट आर रेस्टिंग कम्फर्टेबली on the ground the knee joints are at the same level as hmm. hip joint or a like little that. higher huh. and you sit comfortably relaxed right you know and with back properly supported so that's what it so is so that's the best preventive um, yeah. medicine in a sense yeah and yeah. also uh, don't sit at one place for a long time find mm -hmm. a reason to walk even in the office acha i often tell the executives that suppose you want to file from somebody or you some info mm -hmm. from a junior either you can ring the bell phone him or call him or you can walk up mm -hmm. so that's the reason for you to walk I and mean, you are being selfish by walking you are not doing any favor to your junior you actually you are doing a favor to yourself right. he also feels good my boss has come to me and you have done your work so it serves a dual purpose yes similarly you want a cup of coffee go and pick it yourself go and pick up your own glass of water mm -hmm. so uh, both the purposes are served and dr saab uh, you know you've talked about how medicine has come a long way um especially this field in orthopedics but what are the things that you look forward to ki ye ab yahan se medicine ko yahan jana chahiye dekho aaj se 50 saal pehle jo medicine hoti thi aaj hum sochte are ye kahan aa gaye itni primitive thi aaj ke 50 saal baad bhi yahi hoga ki itne primitive the kyunki kai naye avenues aayenge जीन थेरेपी आएगी यू नो स्टेम सेल थेरेपी स्टेम सेल्स अभी लीगल नहीं है हमारे कंट्री में प्रॉपरली एक टाइम आएगा जब हो जाएंगे जब प्रोवन हो जाएगा भाई कोई प्रॉब्लम हुई है तो इंजेक्ट समथिंग एंड दैट विल करेक्ट योर आर्टरी यू नो वो अंदर ग्रोथ ऐसी होएगी उसकी मॉडिफिकेशन ये सब हो जाएगा वो नैनो कैप्सूल तो आई गए हैं नैनो थिंग्स टू डू सो थिंग्स विल चेंज दैन थिंग्स विल बिकम वेरी सोफिस्टिकेटेड इन टाइम टू कम ऑब्वियसली इज गो हैपन आपका टेलीफोन देखो कितना सोफिस्टिकेटेड हो गया सारी चीजें तो ये तो होगा इनविटेबल इज गोइंग टू एक डॉक्टर के लिए कितना इम्पोर्टेंट होता है टू कीप अप विद टेक्नोलॉजी एब्सोल्युटली इफ यू इफ यू डोंट ऑफर व्हाट इज द लेटेस्ट यू नो देर वाज दिस थिंग इन एलिस इन एलिस इन वंडरलैंड दैट यू हैव टू रन टू बी एबल टू स्टैंड राइट सो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट You fall piche. back, yeah. So oh, you have to. There's you no have to keep running to stand. Absolutely, yeah. no question about it. Um, you have received the Padma Shri. also the bc roy award which is the highest award that one can receive in medicine do awards mean much to you yes Beautiful. i'm being honest they mean a lot i won't say ki nahi nahi koi baat no it's very important mm. and it it lifts you up mm. you know and you feel 
you know, and I, you feel God has been kind to you, hmm. and you feel good, and why not? You should feel good, and it's a matter of pride. And I am not one of those stupid people that I'll be returning ever. I, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> when you receive the award from the President of India, hmm. um, does it have special place in your heart for you? Yes, when I received my Padma Shri, you know, they call you the day before for rehearsal, hmm. and the next day you actually receive it. Uh, actually, the rehearsal was much more overwhelming because that was the first time I had experienced it. Hmm. Next day I knew what to expect. So they play the national anthem when the president is coming mm -hmm. and all that, you know, fun and uh, all that ceremony. And then so many people sitting, your parents in attendance, so many other important people. Uh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful experience. Yeah, it's wonderful. No question about it. You were the first doctor in your family and now your daughter is a doctor. My daughter is a doctor now. She's following in your footsteps. Well, I mean, um, I, I told her why you want to, you know, medicine is a very hard profession. Mm. People don't understand sometimes. Mm. I again keep on saying, people just say, ki, you know, all kind of things these days. But it's a very hard profession if done rightly. And she is the kind of girl who said, I used to come late at 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night. And she said, this is what I want to do. I want to, to work come, hard like to, my dad. To, to work uh, day and night like yes, you. Yes, I want to do that. And, uh, and then now she's doing very well I and mean, she, she's, she did her uh, uh, MBBS from KEM hospital in uh, Bombay, then she went to US, she did her residency in pediatrics, now she's working in uh, Sloan Kettering, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the best institutes in the world for cancer care, yeah. for child cancer, so she's training in that. So, you know, because she also is passionate about it. So she she's doing that. And so did I you mean, also see her uh, play with your stethoscope when she was tiny? No, I <laughs> not really because this was happening all the time. Uh, so probably she imbibed that atmosphere. Uh, what is the advice you would give? To and my son is the other way around. He said he, no. I, he says my, you know your daughter wants to become doctor. Hmm. So because you are an orthopedic surgeon, you are actually not really a doctor. You are an engineer plus a doctor. So <laughs> I'll pick up the engineering side of it. So okay. he went and did his engineering, then he did his finance, and now he's doing well working for this thing. He wants to do his MBA and also good. Yeah, but they both make you proud. The one has followed yes. you in one way and one in the yes. other way. Yeah, why not? I mean, again, you see, upbringing, your home atmosphere, hmm. Although the program is not about it, but let me just say it anyway because this is an informal chat. That your children will do well only if there is harmony at home. Yeah, that is true. If there are no conflicts between mom and dad, if it's not that one is pampering and other is uh, doing the other way around, children should not see that they can play games between parents. It's mm. very important that yeah. they get the same message from both, both parents. parents. Yeah. In fact, my wife is a child psychologist. She teaches in, the, in Delhi University. And our roles were very clear that she was going to bring up children and I would just watch from the periphery, mm. see if things are going right. And fortunately, it has worked. So there was never an occasion when we spoke different language with children. You know, that's I think very, it's important, very important. Very important. Very also, important. also, also, when your children were growing up, that is the time when you were still in the government sector. Both. It was a bit of both, but of uh, both. monetarily. Ha, ah, monetarily, we were hard at that time. I remember mm -hmm. when I was in RML hospital, my take-home salary was four thousand nine hundred. Take-home check, and my daughter went to DPS school, mm -hmm. and uh, there was one month when we didn't have the uh, money to pay her fee that one month for whatever reason so we had some uh, before that i had gone to england you know i had saved some pounds so we sold that okay. and then gave the ye, ye jo, uh, ek chehra hai doctor ka, the, the, you know when you have to go through hardships like this uh, very few people know about it no but it's wonderful see if the journey has not been hard and then the end result is useless. I give a big example to people. You go to a pilgrimage, for example. Aap, kai log Vaishno Devi, I am also going. Or you go to Makkah, Madinah, 
कहीं भी कहीं कहीं भी जाते हैं आप जैसे वैष्णो देवी गए आप चौदह किलोमीटर चल के आप गए आप वो गुफा में गए आप वो स्टैचू के सामने पहुंचे दो सेकंड देखा वो धक्का दे देते हैं आपको फैक्ट बिल्कुल सही कहा सो वट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दो टू सेकेंड और दो फोर्टीन किलोमीटर फोर्टीन किलोमीटर सो योर जर्नी इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट एंड रिजल्ट तो जो आएगा तो आएगा सो योर जर्नी हैज टू बी टफ एंड यू हैव टू वर्क यू मस्ट इंजॉय द जर्नी आपका कभी ईमान नहीं डोला नहीं डोलता है सब डोलता है लेकिन अगर आपके संस्कार अच्छे हो तो देन यू ओवर कम दो प्रॉब्लम ह्यूमन बींग है आई यू ह्यूमन एंड तो अर इज ह्यूमन करता है सबके खोदोगे तो कई स्केलेटर निकलेंगे कबर में से बट देन यू हैव टू ओवर कम दोस्त आप अपनी लाइफ की फिलोसफी एक शेर में बयान करते हैं वो था वो एक एक तो ये था कि जुस्त जू हो तो सफर कहाँ खत्म होता है जी बिल्कुल वरना हर मोड़ पे मंजिल का गुमा होता है बहुत खूब तो यू हैव टू कीप गोइंग यू कैनॉट स्टॉप जस्ट बिकॉज अचीव दिस हो गया नहीं नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू कीप गोइंग एंड इसके साथ में मिलता जुलता भी है कि जो जो अपनी फिक्र को ऊंची उड़ान देता है खुदा भी उसे खुला आसमान देता है वाह बहुत सुंदर तो यू इफ यू थिंक हाई नेचर विल हेल्प यू देर इज नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट आई एम एब्सोल्यूटली कन्विंस्ड इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट समथिंग एंड यू वर्क टूवर्ड्स इट यू विल गेट इट यू हैव टू रियली वॉन्ट इट एंड वॉन्ट इट ऑनेस्टली तो ये जो खुला आसमान आपको खुदा ने दिया है अब आपकी उड़ान किस तरफ है ये तो वही जानता खुदा ही जानता है <laughs> लेकिन मैं बस वही भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि हे ईश्वर मुझे अच्छा काम करने की शक्ति देते रहो और अच्छा काम कराते रहो बस बाकी रास्ता वो ईश्वर और नेचर दिखाती रहेगी खैर हमारी भी यही उम्मीद भी है और यही दुआ भी है कि आपकी ये जो दुआएँ हैं वो कबूल हों हमारे प्रोग्राम में आप आए डॉक्टर साहब इतनी अच्छी हमारे साथ बात की उसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच